Hey there, it's Michael Stevenson, founder of Transform Destiny, the world's top NLP training institute with your daily tip. If you have a fear of ridicule, then upgrade the quality of the people who you surround yourself with in your life. This is something that I had to learn the hard way. I was surrounded by people who would cut me down and put me down. And if I succeeded, I would hear all the negative things about it. If I told my friends about a goal that I had, I would hear all the reasons why it couldn't be done. You know, I, uh, I had friends, old friends that used to uh, jokingly call me Homeless Mike, uh, regardless of whether I wanted to, to or not, regardless of whether they felt it hurt my feelings. Um, and that was an identity that I carried after I was homeless and that I really worked to um, eliminate. The people that I was surrounding myself with were the reason why I had a fear of ridicule in life. You know, I feel that most people don't have a fear of failure. And most people don't have a fear of success, two of the biggest fears that most people say they have. In actuality, what most people have is a fear of ridicule. The fear of ridicule is one of the strongest fears in the world. What will other people think of me if I fail? What will other people think of me if I succeed, right? A lot of people say, I've never heard of a fear of success, but many people do have a fear of success. And the fear of success is, what if I succeed and I put myself out there and people find out I'm not the perfect person? Or what if I put myself out there and people want to cut me down because they think I'm better than them? And it's that fear of ridicule of others that um, really holds a lot of people back. So two things we have to learn how to do. Number one, we have to learn that the only opinion about ourselves that matters is our own. And number two, if you're afraid of people ridiculing you, then the problem is not taking action. People don't take action because they don't want the ridicule. The problem is not taking action. It's probably who you're surrounding yourself with. So really evaluate your relationships. I made a, a concerted effort and a conscious decision about 12 years ago that I wouldn't have no more toxic relationships in my life. And as far as I'm concerned, somebody who's gonna ridicule you when you're trying to do your best is probably a toxic relationship. So I now surround myself with people who want to see me successful, who root for me, who lift me up. It's one of the most powerful things that you can do in your life. Have a standard for your relationships and then hold that standard. And be that standard for other people, right? I don't just demand that of people in my life. I actually show up as that for people who are in my life as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the tip. If you want more, visit transformdestiny.com, jump on our list, and we've got lots more value.